Hi, welcome back to my channel. This video, I would like to share with you the idea about using the I2C LCD and also the HT11 sensor to measure temperature and also humidity using Arduino Uno and PictoBlox. Let's learn. Okay, this is the setup of the small breadboard. The red and the black color is already been connected to the breadboard on the both end. And then I'm going to powering it up using the Arduino 5 volt. So this is the black color indicate the ground. And then this is the red color indicate the VCC pin of the um, 5 volt from the Arduino. And then uh, connect the VCC from the um, I2C device for the LCD followed by the uh, ground. And then I'm going to connect the SDA. The SDA must be connected at the A4 of the Arduino. And then another one is actually the uh, SEL. SEL are being connected to the uh, A5 of the Arduino. And then the last connection is actually you have to connect the pin from your DHT11 sensor uh, with the, uh, the pin number 2. The pin number 2 is being connected at the digital pin number 4 of the Arduino. So this is the complete setup of how you can use the I2C device um, at the Arduino Uno and also attach it with the DHT11 sensor to measure the temperature and also relative humidity. So this is all about it. You can find in the description below. Okay, so now we are going to program our project using a PictoBlox. Uh, credit to goes to the Steampedia company who are invented these picto blocks uh, very friendly and very easily to be adapted especially for the newbies and also kids so the first one you have to go to your board select your board and then proceed with your appropriate board in this case I'm going to select the Arduino Uno after that connect accordingly so I'm just going to share with you this is the device and then connect so after you connect, go to the mode over here. You have two mode. The first one is stage mode where you can make animation. But now we are going to proceed with the upload mode because we want to code the Arduino Uno. So the first one, you insert the when Arduino Uno start up and then followed by and then navigate through the display module because we want to set up our um, initializations of the LCD. So I'm going to use the 16 by 12 LCD. So this is the address that already being uh, gathered from the I square C scanner and after that initialize the communication. So the serial communication actually as default is um, disabled so you can enable it by go to this plus button and then you can choose the extension over here. We have an extension for the communication to make your project much more interactive. So it is a very cool mechanism where you can just um, uh, drag here and there to set up your Arduino project. Okay, after you set up the initializations and then set the uh, board series uh, to 9600 for the serial monitor over here, then you can proceed with your control. Okay, go to your control and then pick up the forever block and then we are going to insert the sensor. So inside the sensor over here, we have a few options to uh, read the sensor. Okay, as you can see here, get temperature from DHT and so on. So we can proceed with that one. But before that, we might want to create a variable. So I'm going to create my variable. The first variable will be temp. Temp is actually um, talking about temperature. And then I'm going to take uh, another variable. And I'm going to rename it as RH. RH are going to define as relative humidity. And then perhaps um, you can put for example temp underscore final so this is the adjusted temperature all right so the first one you go to this set and then uh, insert inside a forever block over here and then select appropriately which is in this case is temperature and then followed by another one set of uh, variables and then select for the rh and then maybe the last one the next one you want to insert the temperature final so i'm going to share with you how you can code it and then make some adjustment based on the corrected values available for from your commercial setup so that you can uh, reliably understand that the reading come out from our sensor is valid don't then go to the um, sensor over here they have a pre-embedded sensor that you can uh, straight away utilize it you can use this one get the temperature from dht sensor at digital pin number four so I'm just going to select one of the digital pin. In this case, I'm going to select the digital pin number four. And then proceed with this next one, RH. 
and then you have to make some adjustment over here get our H okay get our H from the HD sensor at pin number two okay and then the last but not least is set temperature final too so we we are going to set up this temperature final is actually by adjusting whatever the temperature is already being read or already being um, identified by this TEMP or uh, initialization temperature so uh, perhaps you might want to use some operator over here to make some sort of changes so I'm just going to give you um, an example let's say uh, my um, temperature is actually need to add up with uh, I'm so sorry just go inside this um, operator and then uh, make some sort of uh, mathematical equation for example my temperature need to add another 0 0.5 okay 0 0.5 okay let's say in my case is uh, 0 0.5 um, degree celsius so this this uh, operator actually helps you to uh, manipulate your uh, initial reading your uncalibrated reading to a calibrated reading based on a commercial or uh, based on the calibrated instrument and then after that you might want to display your results so in that case i'm going to communicate and then i'm going to insert this write okay so write hello on serial so i'm going to write the temperature okay but in this case i'm going to use the temperature final so to do that just go to these uh, variables and then you can insert straight away but of course you need some sort of a combination so you have to choose the operator first and then use the join so the join enable you to multiple joining all these um, variables so that it's become much more uh, beautiful or much more proper in terms of their arrangement so this is the example join so i'm going to join my sensor sorry i'm going to join my variables so i'm going to choose my temperature over here i'm just going to write here as temperature so temperature double dot and then i make a space bar over there and then i'm going to join this one with the temperature so this is the temperature but of course this is the initial temperature i'm going to choose the uh, final temperature which is already being adjusted by our previous algorithm and then the last one is uh, put some sort of um, notation over here to indicate that this is the okay just like that all right and then you can just copy it okay you can just duplicate and then put it down here and then change this one for relative humidity okay so by doing this you actually change this one into the another uh, variables which is the rh and then as usual rh is being defined as percentage so now we are going to proceed with another one where we want to display all the temperature and also the rh inside our um, lcd so just go to the display module over here so the display module also um, allows you to set your variables so just proceed here and then set a cursor um, column number one row number one and then we can just proceed with the right hello and then proceed also with this join uh, oh of course you you need to adjust it accordingly because uh, you have some sort of limitation in your lcd so just go to this um, operator again and then choose this join and then you can just insert over here and then you can just insert over here so in this case i'm going to use tam double dot and then after that i'm going to insert my temperature final okay my temperature final will be inserted here and then last but not least is the symbols because i need to um, use appropriate compact mechanism to uh, let it display on my um, screen display or LCD display and then after that I may want to um, copy this one so just duplicate it okay and then copy it so now we want to change it at the column still column number one but row number two so we have to change uh, accordingly and then this temperature need to be changed into RH okay and as usual RH is in percentage so now we put here as RH double dot space bar and then put all the uh, combinations of the text inside the block so now we have already completed our um, process of coding the DHT 11 sensor very easily to be done oh okay double check here you see this is some error 
because I need to set it up at the digital pin number four. So make sure that when you do like this, and then you can uh, just have a look. And then uh, last but not least is to save it. After you save it, you can just straight away upload your code inside the um, Arduino Uno using a PictoBlox, and then you can straight away observe the findings. And of course, you can make some sort of uh, adjustment, especially you want to tweak around, uh, you want to make some sort of uh, delay, because the delay uh, enable the refreshing of the data. You see, yeah, the, the serial monitor are going to be uh, set up into the same baud rate, which is the 9600. And then we can see the relative humidity and also the temperature is displayed like that. Okay. Uh, however, it is very rapid and we cannot see on our naked eye, right? It's very difficult to see it because you have to insert some delay. So I may want to insert some delay over here. So just put a delay of one second. So every one second, the data are going to be displayed on the serial monitor and also on our um, LCD. So let us have a look on the um, LCD that already being uh, uploaded with this uh, code and then uh, let us have fun with their performance in terms of their uh, display so this is the temperature that already being recorded and already being uh, specified by the Arduino Uno so the connection and all the code is available on our uh, descriptions of the link so that is the idea how you can use a PictoBlox uh, to code your DHT11 sensor and then display it on a um, on a LCD 16 by 2 and then uh, connected with the I square C and also it's being uh, displayed over here on our serial monitor. Okay, so you can actually make some sort of changes in terms of uh, the displayed data on the serial monitor because you want the serial monitor is actually collecting all this data. And then it um, can be easily exported out to your Microsoft Excel, for example, as a CSV file to make uh, further data analysis. So to do that, actually, you, you can combine these two variables. You can see here, I have, um, this is actually an improvement, especially for those who are trying to use the PictoBlox and also the Arduino Uno in terms of collecting your data. So you can just go to this serial, serial communications, and then you um, just combine everything with this one and this one together. So to do that, actually, you can go to operator and then you can use a join. Okay, you can make a join. You can join these two things. Okay, the first one, you join the temperature. Okay, followed by you join the relative humidity. But usually what I will do is I will make another join. Why? Because I want to specify this middle with the certain characters. In this case, it's plus, um, I mean, dot, my, uh, dot comma. So the reason is because we want to make sure that it is already being arranged uh, as according to the CSV format so that easily for us to export it out and then make analysis on the um, statistical software. So uh, this is it. So you join everything, temperature, join with the temp final, degree, and then uh, followed by a certain uh, a certain symbols over here. And then you can just upload it. And then have a look on the serial monitor. And then furthermore, you can also install what we call it as a cool term. Okay, cool term is a very useful um, software that enable you to upload all of your data and then um, easily save it as the Microsoft Excel or, micro, uh, or CSV file. So you can just install it and then uh, you can just use it. Okay, you can see here the temperature is already there uh, with the sign and also with all this code. So perhaps you can also make some sort of changes by making a space bar over here and then you can tweak some another settings to make some space bar over here so the reason is to make some spacing so that it's easily for you to segregate it inside our um, csv file so until then we are going to uh, perform and explore for the project in the future with that thank you very much for supporting a full credit goes to the steam Pira, the company who created and invented these picto blocks have fun with your project and see you again next time thank you guys